Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Mario, also known as Soul Style Beauty, and we're back with another Soul Flexion. So today we're actually going to be talking about five reasons why you're not growing ment mentally, physically, and spiritually. So this is not about growing followers. This is not about growing your bank account. This is about growing mentally, spiritually, and physically. Okay? <laughs> I've been there, and I'm constantly there on and off. I think that life and growth is never linear. Sometimes we reach a point and then we're not growing and we gotta ask ourselves some questions. We have to self-evaluate. And being that this is Soul Style Beauty in our community and we talk about beauty from the inside out, I was like, let's do this video, okay? Just in case that some of you guys are feeling a little stagnant. Like I said, me too, I can get to those points when I'm like not flourishing, not doing, you know, what I can do to make me grow in those areas. So today I decided to do this video. So if you're not subscribed to my channel, definitely hit the subscribe button and sign up for notifications so you never miss a video from me. Okay, so let's get into it. First, I have my phone here and I took notes. So I'm going to be looking down at my phone. But the first reason is you're not teachable. So when it comes down to growth in any area, like you have to be willing to unlearn and you have to be willing to learn new things. I think that when you think that you know everything and you walk around like you know everything, like you're not willing to hear or evolve from a level that you are. Even biblically, because I'm reading Joshua, he actually learned from Moses. And then when it was time for him to step up to lead the Israelites, he actually did so. So I think that if we want to grow in any area, we have to become teachable first. Number two, you're not hearing from God. Um, and this also came about while I was studying. I know um, in the Bible there are some parts of the Bible where Jesus is actually in physical form and there are some times where it's like people or people in the Bible are hearing from God but they had to put themselves in a position to actually hear from God, right? So I was like, okay, they're hearing from God, they're hearing wisdom, they're getting clarity and imagine if we're not doing that on a daily. Like I would not be willing or able to know what God is saying to guide me, to give me wisdom. So I think that if you're not hearing from God, that's an issue. In order to grow, especially spiritually, you want to make sure, or in all, all areas, because God knows what we need, you need to make sure to put yourself in a position to hear from God. Number three is being open to wisdom. And this is different from being teachable, but I think that there's some well-seasoned people in my life that I really do appreciate and I would not be where I am today, mentally, physically, not physically, but mentally, spiritually, if I didn't have these people in my life. So I think being open to wisdom from well-seasoned people in areas that you want to grow in is super important. Um, I'm not great at initiating conversations, so I know it's hard. That's the reason why I'm, I mention that. So most of my mentors is because I, I met because I went to an event or I had um, a class with them so it was multiple encounters that we built a relationship so I know it's super hard especially if you are an introvert like me um, to go out and to fetch and network it, it's socially exhausting trust me I get it open to wisdom it helps you I think that when someone is more seasoned and they can give you sound advice that definitely helps elevate you on so many different levels number four change your habits so there's a lot of things that we just don't do like we want things to happen in our life and i spoke about this before um in my faith is not enough video but you have to make necessarily necessary changes in order to get different results and sometimes we leave it up to god or we name excuses i know we have certain life challenges that may get in the way but you have to alter it in a way where it fits your life so we can do it however sometimes we're not willing to do it at a certain time or we're not willing to do it at all because it just doesn't work or chaotic but like discipline has to take place in order for you to grow and to make new habits last but not least you're not doing the work um, so I know a lot of people that want to achieve certain things and they're like oh I want to do this I want to do that but it's like you think that you're so far gone from like this specific work or I don't know maybe it's the person that you want to be but it's at the end of the day there's no difference and I had to 
really zoom in on that because you look at people who aren't like you or who are doing more you feel like you know they you admire them and it's like what's the like i i feel like there's such a difference but quite honestly there's no difference i feel like you just got to get out your comfort zone and make the necessary changes so sometimes people just sit back and it's like oh i can't do it and that can't do it mindset lasts the whole lifetime so you have to make sure that you are doing the work you cannot have something fall in your lap if you're not making the necessary changes. We are growing, okay? This is 2021. That sounds so weird because people say 2021, but whatever. This is 2021 and we are growing, we are thriving, we are doing everything we can. And I'm just hoping that we grow this community to communicate with one another. I definitely want to do a live soon, so let me know if you guys are down. Also, if you have some type of content ideas, leave that down below and I will see you in my next reflection. Bye, guys.